What's up, what's going on people of the internet and YouTube? I'm here to give you guys a teardown of my Atoma HD141X uh, projector I have for about two and a half years now. And um, I already replaced the bulb inside of it already roughly five months ago, four months ago, somewhere around there. And the color wheel is next, which is, you know, luckily around 35 to 40 bucks on amazon.com. But before I do that, I wanna tear it down, take it apart and see what's going on, see if I can clean it. What I'm getting is some flickering artifacts uh, about five minutes after having a projector on it start flickering real bad and all kind of crazy colors so you know not real real bad but bad enough now besides mine there's plenty of videos up on youtube of people doing the same thing but when it comes to my in particular model no one no one's doing one of this one so me as a youtuber i need to go ahead and get up on this bad boy figure out you know what's going on so the first thing i had did was took the uh projector bulb out just so I can see if I can get to the color wheel easily from there and I could. So what we're gonna do right now is go into some live commentary and let you guys see, you know, where I'm at right now. All right, people, so I got the projector bulb out, you know what I'm saying? It's the one I had brought. I still got the other one. It still works, but it's super dim. I got this bad boy off. This, I'm about to make a video about this all by itself when I first got the projector because this mountain, this bad boy up on here is what took me the longest, you know, because you got to have these little washers that sticks up on here and you got to have that thing up on there and screw the screws in perfectly and all these little arms move around all kind of different ways and this got to be screwed down to tighten up the arms and everything got to stay into place and it's like too damn much, man. So as of right now, I got all the screws out, even got... uh these feet out just in case because I realized I couldn't even pull it up you know at first so I had to take those out to make sure to see if it was that and I still can't get it to all right there we go All right, so rule of thumb when you're taking apart electronics, once you got the main part, you know, loose, the first thing people want to do, you know what I'm saying, that drilling in this pump and you want to hurry up and get it off, but you want to pull it up slowly because there's wires attached, you know what I'm saying? So try and get this on camera for you guys. So as you can see, there's a lot going on inside here. First thing you want to look up for, look for if I do want to take this off without it being in my way is, is this plugged up inside the actual socket, this ribbon. And I'm gonna go ahead and look, like I said, I haven't watched no videos of this stuff. So, but I am super good at fixing stuff. I used to fix PS2s. So yeah, it can be taken out. It's just got this little tape right here. There's some tape that's holding it into, into place so I can't accidentally yank. So we're gonna go real carefully. Right, I'm gonna get close up again so you guys can see the little flap that you gotta lift up that's taped down. All right, so that's off, out the way. Now the color wheel is located right here. You can see it from right there, kind of. A little angle right there. So. Just trying to figure out what all I need to take out.
Now, somebody said you got to be tech savvy to get this up out of here. Like real tech savvy. Whoever said that is a damn lie. Because it's not that difficult. Take your time. Because if you don't take your time doing this, you know what I'm saying? Pull the wrong wire. They got this little battery thing that's built inside most electronic these days that are self-destruct within a five foot radius. So you got to be curious. It's like, now nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> Those people that are out there are like, what? I had to say, I'm stop playing quick because people will believe me. I got that. <laughs> I, I can make stuff sound so convincing. So we got this little wire out the way right here. It's kind of going up over the color wheel housing. Don't want that in my way. There's this little lip that's right here too. Another ribbon cable holder. We managed to fix PS2s, those damn things break easily, like super easily. Like the plastic on those, like corrode and stuff real easily. So you barely even move the little hinge and it's already broke. Hmm, okay. There's plastic that's kind of like melted on to a screw a little bit. Maybe that's what's stopping it. Part of the housing plastic. There's a screw that's awkwardly placed right here. Another uh, wire right here too. Pull those out your way. Because when you pull this thing out, you don't want to snatch on any wires in case it does snatch out. There we go. Got it loose. Now it's loose like a tooth, but this little housing part right here is kind of weird. Got this little lip that's kind of like Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. Simple. I got these little two screws nonchalant just in there, you know what I'm saying, randomly. And it's stopping it from like moving, so I know what I need to do. Two little screws right here. And before you ask, no, I haven't taken any electronic classes. Everybody has asked me when it comes to my filming and this type of stuff. I haven't taken no classes for neither or. I'm still one of the type of dudes that can survive if we went to post-apocalyptic, you know, era, which might happen, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a survivor, you know, I know how to tinker with things. I know how to look at things and learn and figure things out. And I'm patient, that's another thing. You gotta be patient with this type of stuff. Anybody can do it. Just gotta be patient. I don't even do this stuff on the regular. This is like the last thing I fixed was my 50 millimeter f 1.8 lens. Took it all the way apart. I had dropped it on its face in the autofocus, and the focusing system was completely messed up. Took it apart, bent a little bit of plastic in the inside that was kind of warped from me dropping it, and worked perfectly fine ever since. So I'm about to try and get this bad boy out without taking that screw out, that other screw, because, there we go. So, finally got the color wheel out. And it appears to be not really much wrong with it. I mean, there's like some smudge marks and stuff, so I'm gonna, Try and clean it. There's even still glass inside here from when uh, the bulb had broke. A dead moth. Yeah, so you see all the glass right there. You know, my my bulb had uh, exploded when I uh, when it had broke. 
so yeah man i'm gonna clean this color wheel try to get it give it a test i'm pretty sure it's not gonna work still but i'm gonna give it a test anyways you know just to see if it works hold on tight and let's see what happened all right people of youtube so as you can see i got the projector up and running i got it set it i got it set on my desk on my little table and you know as you can see it's working so far all i did was take out the uh, color wheel and um took out the color wheel and um kind of cleaned it with some screen cleaner and the microfiber cloth and it kind of felt like it wasn't really doing a good job because it still kind of like little smudge marks that wasn't really coming off and it kind of felt like the color was rubbing off the color wheel too it seemed it seemed like but um from the looks of it it seemed like everything is all the colors are still there you know and it's they haven't started doing the flicker and stuff yet which normally would be happening by now but either way, I'm still going to get a new replacement uh, color wheel. So, rather I add that to this video or a different video, either way that, either way it goes in a feature that would be coming. Because that needs to be replaced either way it goes. It's good to, you know, go ahead and get that replaced. Alright, so as you see, I'm in here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as colors and stuff, it don't seem like nothing is off. I got my windows and curtains and stuff open. So in case you're wondering why it's not looking, if it's looking kind of ashy a little bit. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe it was a piece of glass that was stopping the color wheel from spinning. You know what I'm saying? That's probably why it was doing like this little flickering stuff. I don't know. Oh wait, no, it's doing it right now. Is it? It looked like they had started to do it right now. I like was showing like some little purple on the screen. From the looks of it, it appears to be working. So, um, like I said, I'm still gonna replace the color wheel anyways uh, in, a, in the near, near future because I already know that, you know, it should get replaced by now. And just to have it replaced, you know, it's not that much money. And, you know, I even took it out then wiped it down and stuff like that. I probably didn't got more marks on it. But from the looks of it, it still looks fine. And it's not flickering no more, even though it did seem like it was about to, but yeah, that's gonna do it.